Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a bare metal recovery using ArcServe UDP. Today we'll show you how to create a bootable BMR DVD using one of our endpoints that has an ArcServe agent installed. We'll then use that BMR CD to recover the most recent recovery point from our recovery point server. We'll do this in two steps. Let's look at how that's accomplished. So we're going to start here by going to the system tray and we're going to look for the AuxServe agent and select the advanced and create bootkit. In this panel we're going to select Windows 7. You can select Windows 8.1 if you'd like. Next, option to create the DVD ISO or the USB flash variant, same process. If you have a UEFI BIOS, you'll need the 64-bit image. I've selected both, and I'll have both on my DVD, as you'll see later. I need a location for the ISO to be created. So we're going to go and navigate to the uh, temp folder. There it is. Okay. And we'll select the default file name. Next. And as you can see, I've already created one. If you're a multinational company, you'll want to select more than one language. We just selected English. And here you'll be able to load uh, optional drivers if you should need them for your bare metal machine. This process now will take about seven and a half minutes to complete. Once the ISO is complete, you'll now have an ISO file in your temp folder. You'll need to create an ISO DVD from that. There we are. We created successfully. Now, we're going to go to our VM where we're actually going to do this recovery. So we're going to start out by selecting the 64-bit image. This will take about a minute right here to start up. And um, once this is done, it'll, this will take us into our Oxford splash screen where we can select our <laughs> keyboard and language. English and US are the defaults, and so we'll just go with the defaults for this video. And then say OK, start. This will take about 15 seconds to go through, and once this completes, we'll get our config panel. In our config panel, we'll be able to uh, locate our recovery point server and then select the desired recovery points from there that we'd like to restore from. Just select the default there, and now we're going to go and find our recovery point server. And then now we'll log into it. This login is the same login you use to log into your UDP appliance or software. And we're using HTTP, but you might be using HTTPS. It's important you get that right. And connect. There it is, my wrap recovery point server. Now we'll select it to find our machine, and on our machine it'll show what recovery points are available to us for restore. And there it is. And as you can see, there's a lock in the icon. The lock indicates that the file is encrypted. We can verify that on the right-hand panel. It tells us, gives us some information about that, that recovery point. And as you can see, it is encrypted, which means we do need to log into it. We'll choose express mode to keep our default volume and partitions intact. If we needed to modify that, we would select the other option. At some point, this process will continue and come to completion. Ours took about an hour and seven minutes total in that we restored a 71 gigabyte um, image and we rebooted and we were back in business. And that's how you do it. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.